warming up first with some shoulder opening. Go ahead and inhale, lift the shoulders to the ears. Exhale, drop them behind you. And keep going a few times here, inhaling, shoulders up. Exhale, dropping them back. Slip the hands behind the low back and interlace the fingers. Let's take a heart opener here. So inhale, lift your chest. Hands away from the back body and then exhale, fold forward. So forehead towards the earth. Keep lifting up the hands away from the back body. Keeping the hands interlaced. We're gonna take a little side stretch here. Interlaced hands come to the left hip and then drop your left ear to your left shoulder. So you're opening up that right shoulder, right neck. Switch sides. Interlaced hands come to the right hip and then dropping the ear to the shoulder, opening up through that left side body. You can release that now and come to sit on curled toes so you can help the pinkies. And then straighten the arms in front of you, make fists round through the back. And then you're gonna come all the way up. So lifting up the hips, cactus your arms, take a big inhale and then reverse that. Drop the hips, come back to that fist and then inhale, heart opens, cactus your arms, exhale, round through the back, make those fists, drop the chin, good. Inhale, lifting. And then releasing, hands to the earth. Let's cross the right arm straight over the left. You're welcome to take the forearm around the elbow, drop the ear to one side and then the other, and then switch sides, left arm straight across, dropping ear to shoulder, and then the opposite. And then hands come to the earth, curl the toes under and push yourself up into your downward facing dog. Let's get into those hamstrings here. So lifting up your heels and then melting them towards the earth. The heels don't have to touch. Just keep doing that a few times, lifting and lowering the heels. Keep pressing the palms into the earth. Let's go ahead and sweep the right leg all the way up. Take a bend into your knee to turn your hip open towards the right. Keep pushing palms into the earth and then set that foot down. Switch sides. Left leg reaches up with a big bend into the knee, opening up the hips and then softly set that foot down. Walking your hands to the back of the mat. Let's take a little bit of a forward fold here. Wrapping the arms deeply around the um, hamstrings here. You can keep a bend into the knees or you can begin to straighten them. You can move in and out of this. Drawing the forehead, the chest, and the belly towards the legs. Softly release the hands. Heel toe the feet to the edge of the mat. Moving into your yogi squat. Hands can come to the heart center if this is a little too intense for you. If, you need, if the heels are lifting, you're welcome to sit on a block. Pressing the elbows into the knees. Keep opening up into the hips by pressing the elbows into the knees. You're welcome to take a little rock side to side here. And then go ahead and straighten the legs. Bring your hands back to the top of the mat, moving back into your downward facing dog, lifting and lowering the heels a couple of times. And then we'll inhale, lift up that right leg, taking that bend into the knee again, three-legged dog. Step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. We'll come into a low lunge here so you can lower the back knee to the earth. Bring your hands to that right knee. Straighten the arms, lift the chest. Sinking the hips and then you can reach the arms up. We'll take a side bend here. You interlace the hands, releasing the pointer finger and thumb. If you need a block, you're certainly welcome to place a block under that right hand for support as you lift the left arm up. 
And if you want a little bit more, that bottom arm is going to be pulling top arm up and away. Let's go ahead and release the hands back to the inside of that right foot. Coming into a gecko pose, so you're on your elbows, the back knee can lift. If you want to take a little bit of movement here, rocking side to side or swaying forward and back. Moving into wing dragon. So hands come back to the earth and then we'll heel toe that right foot out, right hand to the right knee and we'll use a little bit of pressure to guide that knee open. If you have the bind, reach back as you bend through that left knee, and reach back for the foot. And then softly release that bind, heel toe the right foot back to center and then straighten that leg, moving into your half splits. Bow deeply over that right leg. If it's too intense, you are welcome to place a block under that right hand, flexing the right ankle, and if it is a little too intense, go ahead and point the toes. Continue to bow deeply over that leg, and then we'll walk the hands to the inside, sweep that right leg back, inhale to your cow pose, Exhale, cat, round through the upper back, extending the right arm forward, left leg long, take a bit of a back bend, look up, keep lifting heel and thumb up, and then bend through that left knee, reach back, cat grabbing its tail, right hand is going to grab a hold of that left ankle or foot, softly release hand and knee back to the earth curl the toes under and move back into your downward facing dog setting up for the other side lifting and lowering the heels a couple of times and then left leg reaches up as you take a bend into the knee opening up your hip and then left foot to the outside of the left hand softly letting the back knee come to the earth and again hands come to that left knee you can straighten the arms lifting your chest high here as you sink the hips low And then we move into that side bend so reaching the arms all the way up interlacing the hands reaching over towards the left side this time and just as the other side you can place a block under the left hand if you need a little bit extra support here and then we release the hands back to the mat heel toe that left foot over as you drop the elbows to the earth back knee can lift as you curl the back toes under rocking side to side or forward and back into your gecko pose opening up into the hips Go ahead and take your left hand, place it onto the knee, turning your toes out towards that left side of the mat, reaching back, catching a hold of that right ankle as you bend through the right knee, winged dragon. Continue to drop the hips here. Keep heart lifted. And then softly release, left hand back to the earth, heel toe left foot back to center. And then we'll go ahead and straighten the leg again, moving into that half splits, taking your variation here as you bow deeply over that leg. Finding a sensation of dragging that heel back if you need a little more sensation. And then bringing the hands back to the inside and we find our way into our tabletop finding our bird dog on the other side so right leg extends long left arm reaches forward back bend lift up bend through the right knee reach back see if you can catch that ankle lift the chest up high softly releasing your grip and then crawling to the top of the mat as we move into our reclined hero so you're going to take the knees wide the toes can touch and you're going to settle your hips between the heels. If this feels risky on the knees, sit the hips upon a block. Otherwise, if you need a little bit more, start to walk the hands back behind you. Maybe you can come onto one elbow or both elbows.
and if you have the opening you can come all the way down onto the back another option is to place a block lengthwise starting at the mid spine going all the way up and then you can rest onto the block I'm going to come all the way down onto my spine here. If the knees start to lift, you've gone too far. So this is a quad opener and a hip flexor opener. You can reach the arms overhead or you can allow them to stay along the side body. Catch the ankles to help you come all the way up. We're going to move into our camel pose here. So if you need a blanket, go ahead and grab a blanket or you can double up your mat. I like a little bit of support here. So hands can be on the hips with the toes curled under. And you're just going to go ahead and start to lift your chest up. You can press your hips forward, certainly. But I like to think about lifting my chest towards the ceiling. If it's okay for the neck, you can drop the head back. If you have the space, hands can come to the heels as you open up through the shoulders. You can even uncurl the toes and drop the head all the way back. Hands can come back to the hips, come all the way back up. You can remove your blanket. And then settling back into your downward facing dog. Really earthing the heels to the earth and pushing your palms into the mat. And then go ahead and inhale, right leg lifts, big bend into the knee again. And then we'll find our pigeon pose. So drawing that right knee to the right wrist, allow the heel to come towards the groin. If you need a little assistance, place a block under that right hip. First, staying in our proud pigeon, so lifting the chest up high. You can bend into that left knee, reach back again. We're finding that quad opener. If you've got more space, take a bend into your left elbow as you pull the heel towards you. And then we'll softly release that down. And then coming all the way down, elbows, forearms to the earth. Maybe even the forehead touches the mat. I like to keep my right ankle flexed here to protect that knee. And then as we come all the way up, we're going to sweep the left leg long, coming into our head to knee pose, Janu Sirsana. This first variation will take the side bend. So left elbow is going to come to the inside of that left leg and you sweep that right arm all the way up, opening up through the entire right side body. Continue to draw your right knee down to the earth. That top arm can be bent, it can be straight, you can reach it towards that extended left leg. If you have the bind, you can reach for the toes. And then we'll come all the way up, releasing any binds here, turning your chest square over the left leg, reach your arms all the way up, and then fold deeply over that extended leg, forehead to knee. Inhale, lift your chest, crossing the left ankle over that right knee, coming into our fire log pose here. So if this feels risky again in the knee, you are welcome to place. So if that left knee is lifted quite high, place a block or a blanket or a cushion underneath, and then you can fold forward. Lots of variations for depth and height. opening up deep into the hips again. I like to keep my ankles flexed here to protect my knees. Inhale, lift the chest back up, unwind, and then we'll step back into our downward facing dog again, taking a little bit of movement here before we move into our other side and then earthing the heels back into the mat, palms pressing. Left leg lifts, 
three-legged dog to start. So we have that bend into the left knee as we open up the hip and then drawing that left knee to the left wrist, settling down with that right leg extended long behind you. Lift the chest, finding your proud pigeon first, flexing that left ankle if you can to protect the knee. And again, reaching back, searching for that right ankle with the right hand. and then releasing that, elbows to the earth. Using your props if you need them underneath that left hip. You can even place a block under the forehead if, if the forehead doesn't quite touch the earth. And just sort of settle in here, see if you can melt into the hips. And then we inhale, lift the chest, finding our side bend on this side. So we have that right leg extended, the elbow's gonna drop, right elbow on the inside. Reach that left arm up, taking whatever variation, maybe the arm is straight, bent elbow with the fingertips behind the ear, or you reach that top arm over to that right leg. Inhale all the way up, square your chest over that extended leg. I like to interlace my hands as I fold deep and then catch the hands onto something. So whether that is the shin, the mat, or if you can reach for the foot or the toes, forehead keeps drawing towards the knee. Lift the chest up, fire log on this side. And again, if that right knee is lifted ultra high, we support it with a block underneath of it. protecting the knee by flexing the ankles and then fold down deep as you open up into this intense hip opener. Breathe through this if you're finding it intense and then inhale, come all the way up, unwind the legs, send them out long in front of you. We're gonna come into a seated forward fold. Remove any extra flesh from underneath the sit bone so you can use your hands. Reach the arms overhead, interlace the hands, and then fold down deep. And again, catch onto something. So whether that's the shins, the ankles, the mat, the soles of the feet, continue to use your core to draw your belly, your chest, and your forehead towards the mat. And then I'm going to take you into another variation of this forward fold. So you can take a bend into the knees enough that you can slip the arms underneath. So you have a hold of the legs, like this big hug that you're taking. Elbows are wrapped around. And then you can begin to slide the heels forward. So with this variation, you get a little deeper into the low back here as you draw your forehead towards the earth. It really keeps the compression of the chest and the belly to the thighs softly release moving into our butterfly pose soles of the feet together knees open wide you can have the heels close to the body or you can have them more into a diamond shape hands can come to the ankles with the elbows pressing onto the knees or you can go ahead and slip the forms underneath of the shins and then bringing the hands to the tops of the feet letting the forehead drop Let's go ahead and lift the chest back up, spinning to the side here. We're gonna find a wide-legged seated forward fold. So flexing the ankles, widen the heels, walk the hands forward, folding deeply. You're welcome to take an active forward fold or if passive is what you're craving here, you can take a bend into the elbows, bringing the fingertips to opposite elbows. And then we'll move into a little bit of a windshield washer so you can heel tilt the feet a little bit closer together, sway the knees side to side, and then moving into another cat-cow, belly drops, inhale, exhale, rounding through the spine, taking our last couple of postures here, walking the hands forward. So we're in this puppy pose or this melting heart, keeping your hips stacked right over the knees, walk your hands to the top of the mat, dropping your chest, if this is really easy for you, you are welcome to tuck the tailbone or you can even press the fingertips into the earth. 
Forehead can come to the mat or the chin. You're welcome to turn the face to one side if you need a little bit more space. And then sliding forward. This time the shoulders are going to stack right over the elbows. Lift the chest into your sphinx pose, pulling heart forward. And then to come out of this, just bring the hands alongside the ribs. Push yourself back through your tabletop. Thank you for joining me in this hips and hamstrings class. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Namaste.